This is the second part of the video and somebody had requested to make a membrane over the top of this bone closure. So here we go. The first thing that I want to do is we want to go to the block out module. Select it. So I've got two models on the scene. I've got this one on the scene and I've got the original model on this on the scene. That one over here. Okay, let's hide this one, select it, go to the block out module, name the mod model, and we're going to offset this model. Let's have a very small offset and apply it. Now, we're going to finish this model. If you have large undercuts, we would then typically block it out. So here we've got a few little undercuts which we can we can and here we've got some undercuts as well okay so we're going to survey this all right so this is in the path of the lower because um, it hasn't been turned around so I'm going to pretend this is the lower model which is okay I'm looking at my undercuts there and there and there we can mark these undercuts if we want to, like that. We can see where they are. And then we're going to create a passive model. Then we're going to accept and finish, accept the voxel size and finish it. Now it's nicely blocked out. We're going to go to the guide module. And then what we're going to do is, you can also use the splint and layer module go to where we're going to paint paint on a layer over here this is the target model and what I want to do is I want to put this into transparent so back in the model designer I'm going to give it like a little bit of a grayish color and I'm going to put the alpha value to 0 0.3 so that's pretty transparent and you'll see in a minute why I'm doing this. We can expose the original model there. So we, we can actually see both of them. Select your target model. Then what we're going to do is we're going to paint a layer. So click on paint a layer. And here we go. So at the moment it's a little bit thick. I'll set it down to to thinner so it depends on what you can what material you're going to make this out of so I'm going to leave that to you for now the beauty about this is that we can see where we are painting now and um, we can take this up to wherever how far we want to take it it's it sort of acts like a bit of a, a window as as you can see absolutely beautiful so if you want to overlay it a little bit you can so carefully paint your layer so if the if the other model was a little bit darker that would have been perhaps a little bit better because then we could see it a little bit more Beautiful. Here I'm going to go minus to take away a little bit like this. Yep. There we've got the undercut, but that's okay. Unless you want to take it over. So the design is up, up to you how you're going to design it. I'll perhaps add a little bit more over here. Okay. So once I've got this, we're going to create a few holes in there as well. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like this. Maybe a little bit higher over here. Okay, I'm going to right click and set my, my radius a little bit smaller. Maybe like that. And you can zoom in or out, depends, like that. Then we're going to go on the minus 
and then what you'll do is you'll just dab it like this to make some holes okay so this hole is still a little bit big I'll set this radius to 30 perhaps like that yeah so here I get to choose where I'm going to put my holes and again this is this is up to you where you're going to put them absolutely fantastic okay I'm, I, I can't pretend I'm an expert in this but I can just show you how to design these things okay assuming this is okay we're going to then accept this layer put the voxel size quite small because we want it pretty fine we're going to smooth this like that then accept that voxel size quite small and finish this now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the finishing in the in the wax up you can go, go into the wax up or the guide or the splint wherever you see a boolean cutter so go to the finishing and now this is called laying the other one's target model and we're going to cut the fitting surface all right and here we here we are so this is basically finished let's see what this looks like perfect